Hey, what's up, YouTube? So today I'm going to show you how to make a Minecraft server. So basically, something like this. We're going to go through Spigot and Bucket. Pretty much the same thing, but we're going to go through the both both of them. So right here, I'm going to make um bucket first, and then I'm going to make another one called Spigot. The same. They actually have the same way of installation. So both of them here. Something like this. This is a Spigot server I made. Alright, so firstly, what you're gonna do is just go to Google, type in, I'm gonna do bu the bucket one, and if you wanna skip to the spigot one, just click on the annotation right here, over on the top right, it, it will show there. Alright, so for bucket, what you wanna do is you wanna type in bucket, obviously, go to bucket forms, and then what you wanna do is wait for this to load, obviously. Just download the latest version, um, I'm gonna download get just click on craft bucket and I'm gonna show you this website here. It will be in the link below. What you're gonna do is download the Windows Craft Bucket recommended build version. Just download this. Oh, this is 1.6.4. Well, I'm gonna do 1.7.9, so I'm just gonna go to the website inside itself and then download this. Just click on this. Scroll down, download this. I will also provide the download list so you can choose whatever version. The same installation steps. Okay, so download this. Alright, once it's done, drag it out here. Next, what you're going to do is go back to the wiki. So, just go to Google again, type in bucket. And then here, set up, setting up server. This thing will be in the description as well. Scroll down until you find this thing. Alright. Find this thing. Windows. And then just copy this. Copy this. And then go back to your bucket server. Where you also put the craft bucket thing inside. What you're going to do firstly is rename this to craft bucket. So until it's craft bucket. Alright. Then what you're going to do, make a new text document name it I uh, just don't name it anything yet open it up paste whatever you just copy it paste it in save and then what you're gonna do is I mean save as all files start dot bat or run dot bat or launch dot bat whatever as long as the dot bat and, and start but I recommend start dot bat because it's simple and then you start it server Okay, if there are two there are two errors, one is the one that you can't find Java. How are you gonna fix that is check your Java um check your Java version, make sure it's your, the same bit as your computer because I I had that problem. So this one this is a server for bucket. Simple enough, we're gonna test it out, see see whether you can join it. Actually we can't join it yet, so what we're gonna do is go to server, is to generate all the files, type in stop in the console first. Then it should close. All right, go to the server. Right here, you should see server.ip. What you're gonna do is go to run. Just search for run. Simple. You can search for run. I'm gonna search for run here. All right, here. Type in cmd. And then what you're gonna do here is type in ip config. Scroll up until you find your IPv4 address. And type in your IPv4 address. So mine is 192.168.0.15. Okay, so save that, close it. Now, what you do, what you're gonna do is if you don't have your ports folded yet, I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. Simple enough, you go back to your run. I'm just gonna do a shortcut to go back to run. It's the Windows button NR. If you want to know the shortcut, IP config again. Remember your IPv. I mean your. Remember your default gateway, which is obviously something like this. I'll just find it in your default gateway. Type it in here. So mine is one nine six one nine two. Blah 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 blah. All right. For this, right, you have to find out what's your username and your password. Simple enough. Just go to Google and type in your router version. So if I go Google, right here, just type in, um normal pass 
I should say anywhere, just find one, first find your password, it should be there. I'm just gonna log in online. And then what you're gonna do, go to advanced if you have, or port forwarding, find that. Mine is called, no, actually mine is, yeah. Mine is called um, virtual server. What you're gonna do here is you're gonna add the 25565 IP I mean the port so your server can run so just add internet I mean delete this so I can add it again actually wait and just type in 25565 for both of the one port range and then both for TCP and UDP your LAN host IP your LAN host IP will be, will be the same one as you put in to the server so it'll be this I'll just copy this in and then remark just put whatever you want and just apply it once you've done that you're gonna do what you're gonna do is go to can you see me dot org. Okay, for this right, your IP will be here. It's probably mine is probably blocked out because I don't want you guys to like to do something to me. What you're gonna do is check whether you have port forwarded it. So two five five six five check port and just wait for it. Sometimes it's a bit, it's, it's a bit buggy, but this is really open good thing. All right, see um. This thing it says error blah 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 connection timeout but this cause the thing the website is a bit buggy now but it's okay I'm just gonna exit this and I know because I know it's port forwarded so once you've done that what you're gonna do is go to Google Google type in what's my IP Okay, what's my IP? Click on this, get your IP, give it to your friend. So, for example, if my IP was 1.1.1.1, one dot one dot one dot one, just add a, just add a 25565 behind. So I'm going to test it out, see if it works. I'm just going to run it first. Okay. Uh, by the way, there will be errors in the when you first start the server, so it's okay. Yep, it works. Simply enough, this is a bucket server. It works fine. Uh, so that's all for the bucket server. Now I'm gonna move move over to the spigot server. Same thing. Um, you know what? I'll also put this bucket server link in the description so you can download this this thing. Just so if you guys can't make it or if some errors, I'm gonna put it in. And next thing, I'm gonna do spigot. Simple enough, just go back to Google. Just type in spigot. And then, not spigot, sorry. Click on the, f the second thing. Download, just click on download. Download this. I was about to cough, my voice isn't that good anyway. And let me just download this, this will be in the link below in the description. Keep this. Oh, come on. <coughs> <coughs> okay. Uh, download that. I know my network has failed, but I'll be right back. Uh, let me pause this first because I have something wrong going out. I got to fix that so I can download it right now. I'm just drag it to the desktop. Again, put it into your Spigot folder, and then what you're gonna do now is rename it. It's the same installation, basically. If you know, you can just skip the whole, your whole video now. But it's the same thing. It's just a bit more. I don't know. Same. All right. Now, so what you're gonna do now? Same thing. Make a new text document. Name it whatever you want. Then paste the same thing in. Not that. Not the gateway. The one from the Java. Thingy, I want to copy it from this. Paste this in. Same thing. Save. Again, if the, if you have the Java error, just go find out what Java version you have and fix that. All right. Sorry. F open this. Paste this in, and then save as. Save as. Start. Not bad. And save it as all files. Save. Boom, this should be started bad. Start it. Okay, so this for sorry there's an error here. Obviously I suck, but 
if you add the error, then probably you're using the wrong code. So just change this, change this code to spigot. There will be two of these codes in the description later, so don't worry. Start again. What the hell? All right. If you could not access that, okay. So basically, spigot just uses this code. So that will be in the description below. Just go back here, edit your thing, paste it in. Boom. Done. Now what you're gonna do now is start up the server. Start up the start. I mean start up the start file, not spigot. I just click on spigot. Like you will have these errors in the front. You can screw up. You have these errors because you can't find all this stuff. You just generate some for you. And then once you once the spawn is done doing it, just type stop. Boom. Stop that. Alright, also close for it itself there's a server and the same thing I'm gonna teach you again because I already done it for the bucket but I'm gonna teach you again on, on this side simple enough just go to your server type in whatever gateway you have to find that search for run and then in run type in CMD so CMD here right just type in CMD in run or you can also open run using the windows button and R holding down them together and CMD run and then what you're gonna right type in CMD is IP config. In IP config, scroll up until you find default gateway and IP before address. Remember both of those. And then what you're gonna do now is type in your IP before address into the server IP. Now you if you find your IP before address online, it won't work. But if you find it in your gateway and in your CMD, you IP com using IP config it will work. So mine is blah blah blah. Blah 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 blah. That's mine. Save that. Save yours. And then now delete that. They, I mean, just close both of the CMDs. Now what you can do is go back to your um uh, browser. What you can do now is type in your. Now I told you to remember the default gateway. Type in your default gateway. In order to find that again, just click on the Windows button. N R C M D. Oops. Click on the Windows button. C M D. IP config default gateway, which is this. That's mine. Now to log in on this, just search up your um, router thingy, and then just search up for the the pass and the username. If you don't know what's yours, okay. So I'm just gonna log in on mine. Now in this, what you're gonna find is advanced, and try to find virtual server port forwarding or any thing has to do with ports and what you do now is add and add I'm gonna add a new one internet when connections internet port range 25565 225565 and then both of the ports TCP and UDP now LAN host IP address this is your this is the one you put in with your server so mine is this I'm gonna paste it there and then just remark and just put whatever you want and done we're done all right so we're done now i'm going to try to start up the server and see if it works now i'm going to quicken this up so i'll be right back all right so same thing the server is up just click on that and boom i'm in so your friends will be able to join just go to google search up what's my ip and then give your friend that IP. So for example, your IP is one. Oh yeah, you make it more complicated because one point one one is too simple. For example, your IP is like one two three dot four five six dot three one two dot one. What you're gonna do is add a colon mark, add a colon behind two five five six five. Give that IP to your friends, and they will be able to join. So thanks for watching, everybody. I'll catch you guys next time.